Next patient, what's going on here? Is that foot drop? So go on then, tell me as many causes for foot drop as you can starting now. Look, you just need a system. Picture the entire nerve pathway from central to peripheral. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Differentials. It's packed with frameworks to help you recall differentials on the spot. Comic diagnosis for some free pages. Start centrally, the central nervous system, including the brain and spinal cord. Lesions here include stroke and MS. Moving distally down the pathway, we come to the spinal nerve roots. Masses like disc herniations, or strictures like lumbar stenosis, may cause foot drop, particularly if they're involved in the L4 or 5 nerve roots. Next, let's think of lesions affecting the peripheral nervous system, which includes diseases of the nerve itself, which is in diabetic neuropathy, alcoholism or Charcot-Marie tooth disease, but also trauma or other compressive pathology such as tumours. At the end of the nerves, we reach the muscles. Here we should think of neuromuscular disorders, notable causes being muscular dystrophy or polymyositis. To never forget the causes of foot drop, just recall the nerve pathways. I've got another patient for you, but you're going to have to follow me to come and see them next.